welcome you all will conduct kvl experiment based on the statement uh, algebraic sum of the voltages around the loop is equal to 0 this one is complete loop right so this one r1 uh, you consider as a electrical appliances or electrical component this one is supply voltage battery this supply voltage is equal to voltage drop across r1 and uh, voltage drop across r2 and voltage drop across r3 so sum of voltage drop is equal to supply voltage right so v is equal to i into r1 plus i into r2 plus i into r3 right so these are all the drops sum of drops is equal to voltage supply right let's see the experimental diagram there is rps present and three rheostats are connected in series uh, 50 ohm 100 ohm 150 ohm and three voltmeters are connected in parallel with these rheostats so rheostat you can set 50 ohm 100 ohm 150 ohm as per your requirement okay based on the circuit diagram we will make a apparatus table so serial number apparatus range and quantity right apparatus is uh, rps range is 0 to 30 volts uh, quantity is uh, 1 and similarly voltmeter range is 0 to 30 volts uh, 3 rheostat uh, 0 to 50 ohm 100 ohm 150 ohm 3 connecting wires okay based on the circuit diagram we'll make a tableau column rps uh, reading uh, here and uh, voltmeter 1 is here and voltmeter 2 is here voltmeter 3 is here if suppose uh, rps voltage is 5 you will get here 2 2 1 total is 5 2 plus 2 plus 1 if suppose 10 5 plus 3 plus 2 you will get uh, 10 right if it is 20 10 5 4.9 something you will get 19.9 uh, .9, definitely you will get 20 so then it is verified this voltage is equal to this voltage right then uh, kvl is verified Next common question, why we need to do this experiment? KVL is for to measure how much drop across each electrical appliances or electrical component we are going to measure. That's all. Next, we will see procedure. Before conducting the experiment, everything must be off position. I mean, supply must be off position. Make the connection as per the circuit diagram. Set the rheostat resistance value as per your requirement. You put it in constant value. Switch on the power supply. By varying the RPS value step by step, 5 voltage, 10 voltage or 15 voltage, note down all the meter readings. For KCL, emitter reading, for KVL, voltmeter readings. Okay. Switch off the power supply and remove the connection. Finally, you should write uh, KCL and KVL are verified as a result. Welcome to Basic Electrical Laboratory. Let us conduct uh, the first experiment, verification of uh, KVL and uh, KCL. First we will conduct KVL. See so here, according to statement, the algebraic sum of the voltages around the loop is equal to 0, right? Or uh, algebraic sum of the EMF and then uh, algebraic sum of the uh, voltage drop is equal to 0. Or supply voltage is equal to voltage drop across each resistor. So, this volt, uh, supply voltage is equal to sum of uh, all the voltmeter readings, right? Then only it will uh, verify. See, rheostat, uh, we have taken 50 ohm, 100 ohm, 150 ohm are connected in series and then voltmeter connected across the uh, each rheostat, right? See here, three rheostats they are using and then uh, three voltmeter. This voltmeter is uh, for this one and then this voltmeter is this one and this voltmeter is for this one. Right. Let us start the connection based on the circuit uh, diagram. So see here, RPS positive to positive to rheostat upper terminal are positive. For your uh, understanding purpose, I will make uh, positive and negative. Okay. So, positive rheostat and uh, rheostat uh, lower terminal or rheostat uh, negative to rheostat of another uh, upper terminal or uh, positive of another rheostat and then uh, another rheostat uh, negative to another rheostat uh, positive, right? This uh, uh, negative, not neutral, negative to RPS negative, right? So, this negative to RPS uh, negative. So, circuit connection uh, over, just we need to place uh, voltmeter 
across each wear stud, right? So I'll place uh, this voltmeter across uh, this wear stud, positive to positive, and uh, negative to negative, right? See here, negative to negative. And this resistor, voltmeter positive to upper terminal or positive terminal, and voltmeter negative to negative. And the last voltmeter V3. Positive to positive, negative to negative. Right. This voltmeter connected across uh, this resistor. This voltmeter is connected across this resistor, and then this voltmeter is connected this resistor. So circuit connection over. Uh, let's conduct the experiment. So before conducting, I tell you how to set resistor value. So as per your requirement, uh, I have kept uh, uh, randomly resistor values. So how to determine uh, resistor values now? See here. So just a place here. Uh, and then here I'll place. See here we'll get a 58.3 resistance value. So if you uh, move this wiper uh, this side, so resistance will be decreased, right? Because uh, so the current or uh, resistance value only here to here and then here to here. If it is wiper is in this position, more resistance. See here, this much resistance we added. If the uh, rheostat uh, Vapor is here, definitely you will get less resistance. See, this part is added. So, current will be flowing from uh, this I mean, positive terminal to, I mean, upper terminal to lower terminal. You can take any terminal, this one is uh, positive or this one is negative, your wish, but I have taken this one is positive, this one is negative, okay, for your understanding purpose. So, let's start the experiment. I have kept randomly registered values. You can keep uh, your own uh, given values, okay. So, switch on the power supply. By varying the RPS voltage uh, 5 volts. Okay. Just give you 5 volts. See here, this voltmeter reads 1 volts. This one uh, voltmeter reads uh, 1.1. And this uh, voltmeter reads uh, 2.8. So 1.1 and 1.1 uh, that voltmeter reads uh, 2.8. How much? Uh, Addition of uh, even V2, V3, you will get uh, 5 volts, right? And next, I will vary 15 volts, uh, 10 volts I will take, 10 volts. See here, this voltmeter reads at 2.1, right? 2.1, supply voltage is 10, keep it in your mind. Here, uh, 2.1. Here 5.2 something. See here, here that 2.4. There 5.1. I'll take. The reading 5.1 plus 2.4 plus 2.1. We'll get 2 plus 2 4 5 9 9.4 9.5 9.6. Almost equal to 10 right. So just uh, there is a uh, error will be present because uh, moving coil instruments. Uh, if it is digital, we will get uh, exact value. Next, we will take another one reading for 20. Okay, 20.1 is there. See here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4.9. Okay, 4.9 nine. Okay, I will take 5 volts. Okay, so 5 volts, 5. And uh, here, 5.2. 5.2 and here 10.10 uh, 10, exactly 10 
right then see here here uh, it is not equal to 5 4.8 will get it right 4.8 just i'll take otherwise yeah, okay 10 plus 5 plus 5.2 will get uh, 20.2 but here 20 uh, given only 2.2 words error because uh, here uh, 4.8 and then here uh, uh, 5.2 or 5.4 and here 10.1 just this one is a moving kind error similarly we do for uh, 30 also right so here this voltmeter uh, reads uh, voltage across uh, this resistor this voltmeter reads uh, voltage across this resistor this voltmeter uh, uh, reads voltage across this resistor so this supply voltage is equal to sum of uh, these three voltmeter reading then only the KVL is verified, right? So in the moving kind instrument, you get the 0 0.2, 0 0.3 uh, errors. It's coming, but in the digital meters, you will not get any errors, right? So this is the experiment. At the end of the result, you write the KVL uh, experiment is verified. Switch off the power supply.